Hello friends and welcome to your daily tarot reading. Today is Friday the 3rd of November 2023. Normally when I do my daily tarot readings I try and fit it into 60 seconds so that it fits into all the, the, the social media platforms requirements um, for a quick and easy watch but today I feel like I want to be a little bit more introspective. Today I feel like I want to, to take a little bit of time and just to reflect on the week that has gone because I don't know about you but it's been a doozy <laughs> and I feel like there's so much panic amongst everybody excuse the dogs barking they're feeling it as well um, there's so much panic amongst everybody trying to to get things done trying to be more trying to do more trying to achieve more and it's creating quite a sense of panic so I'm going to use my tarot deck. This is a tarot deck that I am busy creating. It's not ready yet. It's called the Oracle of Tarot. So this is the deck that I'm working with today, just to reflect on this past week, to look at today, to look at Friday, and to just sort of get, a, get an idea of where we're all at. So let's have a look. The cards are really, really well shuffled, and I'm just going to dig and grab a card at random. So the card we have is release. You see, this is exactly, this is exactly what I was talking about. This is exactly the energy of where we all are. So we've got release. Release is associated with um, the tarot card of the Ten of Swords. So Ten of Swords, to paint you a picture, Ten of Swords is the card of a person lying on the ground with Ten Swords in his back, feeling completely hopeless, feeling as if everything has now come to an end and feeling as if everything is just, it's over, it's done, it's finished. And you know what, I don't know about you, but you, you're probably feeling something like that at the moment. There is a, there is an energy of, of chaos. There is an energy of desperation. There is an energy of, I don't know if you can hear that, but <laughs> there's an energy of chaos. There's an energy of desperation, but there's an energy of hopelessness. And what we need to do is we need to release that. We need to release our attachment to the chaos, to the drama, to, to the things that are going wrong. We need to release the chaos, sorry, we need to release the emotion of trying to have everything perfect, trying to have everything just exactly right. We need to release all of that because it's clearly not serving a purpose. It's clearly not helping. It's clearly not doing anything that we need to do. What is important is that we communicate, that we express, and that we release. We don't release by holding in. We don't release by internalizing. We don't release by holding on to our emotions in the hopes that they're going to get better one day or another. We release by literally letting go. And if you've got emotions building up inside of you, we need to express it. We need to release it. We need to purge okay and it's in that action of purge and release that we heal that we suddenly find energy to do more to be more to to work towards more but it's when we hold on to everything and it's quite interesting on on um, Facebook this week I've released a couple of just text posts about you know daily experiences or what I've picked up in readings with clients and this has been a theme. This has definitely been a theme. So interesting this morning that I was guided to, to share more with you. And I do hope that this helps you to just take a minute to just think about your own life, your own circumstance, your own week, what you've been going through this week, and find a way of releasing anything that you're holding on to that's not serving you, that's causing you pain and destruction. Let's let it go. Let's release it so that we can actually have capacity to improve, to better, and to heal that which needs healing. So friends, it's Friday. Let's release so that we can have a great weekend. As always, with love and blessings from my heart to yours. And until we connect again, take care.